You know, I didn't want to have to mention it, but there is a big problem with just about everything we've got going on right now. It's... It's just way too ethical. This was supposed to be a series about a down on his luck businessman trying to desperately repay his debt to the mafia and falling down a slippery slope of doing it by any means necessary. And what we've actually done is just build a, a farm. In fact, we've built a chocolate factory more ethical than anything in real life. <laughs> <laughs> and we may now have the delicious Mr. Cringe Bar. And we might be able to produce regular chocolate at a, quite frankly, astounding rate. The problem, in my opinion, is that everything is a little bit too clean. The lumpers have unionized, and all this work and effort is going into making a single delicious bar of chocolate. We need to, we need to vary our production line a little bit. And much like chocolate factories in real life, we need to do something hideously unethical. So today, we're gonna build a milking chamber. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame me for this one, okay? This was someone in the comment section yesterday's idea. Okay, I'll admit, it was a little myopic to go on a tirade about how... <laughs> how ethical this factory is being while simultaneously we've got some... Um, whatever the hell this machine is over in the background. Uh, to my credit, it's so poorly designed it hasn't killed that many people. <gasps> my god. We can restock on our murderous uwus. Uwu bulb, okay? Uh, Uwu Blue Bun, I'll take those. In fact, what are you called? Thoughtful Transport Company. I might invest in Thoughtful Transport Company. If we make these little creatures the mascots of the of the entire park, people might want their own Uwu. And that's where Mr. Cringe, business magnate supreme, comes in and buys up all the stocks. Uh, what are they called? Thoughtful, thoughtful Thought Company? Ah, uh, can we not invest in them? I mean, we can invest in his bloody aunt lubricant, and look how that's gone. Yesterday, I said something downright mad. Well, I say a few things uh, during each episode that would probably qualify as that, but the thing I did say is that we're going to attempt to pay off this, quite frankly, ridiculous loan that only existed, really, as a story element. Uh, it's currently 3.14 million silver. And I, in my infinite wisdom and even more infinite madness, have decided to take that loan as a challenge. I feel like that should be... Our ultimate goals will overcome. Now, bear in mind with Yeo's bank, there is no way to pay it off in installments. We can't pay off the interest. We can't give them a, a, a lump sum to take a chunk out of that. You have to pay the whole thing all at once. I think the most money I've ever had in Rimworld before was a million silver in safes in the legally drug running series. And drugs do cost more money than chocolate. Allegedly. Allegedly, I hear. But Legal Lee didn't have a team of lumpers, a, a slime girl and a man... Dressed as a polar bear. <laughs> Nor did he have a fairly sizable, decently advanced factory. Bear in mind, we've only got industrial tech. I'd say it's pretty advanced for that. So we're going to work towards building that milking room so that we can capture a few people, maybe remove their legs, maybe force them to lactate, milk them, turn that into delicious milk chocolate, which is the most profitable of all of the automated chocolate we can make. And then with all of those leftover ingredients, of which we have quite a lot, uh, more specifically, we have 16,000 bars. With all of those leftover ingredients, all the stuff that isn't being used automatically will get Mr. Cringe to make as much delicious chocolate as he can possibly make. And you know what? Why not do it forever? There's no reason to not do that forever. But as sad as it is to say, Mr. Cringe is only one man and only has two hands. At least I hope he has two hands. I haven't really checked him. He hasn't really got many bionics. He's definitely got... He's only one man with absolutely two hands, which I can't say about any of the lumpers. Like Laffy. Laffy has no hands at all. Well, I think we're going to have to vary the stock quite a lot. We're going to have to automate things quite a lot if we stand any chance of paying this off. Sure, this chocolate is worth a lot more, but paying three million off in terms of just crafting chocolate bars one by one might not work for hopefully fairly obvious reasons. I, I mean, obviously, we've set this up to uh, be a lot more effective in terms of growing. We've got basically the full year of growing cocoa now. We've got a lot of cocoa already sat in there just from the first harvest. We need a way to... Send this cocoa down to the machines automatically. It's 24,000 in there. We need to make sure there is nowhere else for cocoa to get put. Let's set this to important. Let's copy that over and paste it into all of these guys. Time for a little factory planning with Mr. Cringe. We definitely don't want cocoa in here so that we can keep it all in the factory. We're not going to make any more chocolate bars by hand unless it's upgrading them via the medium of Mr. Cringe. Then we want to put down some sort of zone or hopper or stockpile. Really just a small stockpile would be quite good. Yeah, something like that will work for fine. Then we need inputs into every single hopper. This is going to be the hard part. <laughs> Trying to get this to work is going to be a complete nightmare. Then we're going to need a good dozen or so of these pushes. We're going to have to move these machines over. Now, that's not such a big deal because these things are consuming choco fuel to make power. 
But eventually, we're going to have nuclear candy generators. As soon as this harvest comes in, we'll be able to see how much we can kind of keep the lights on for. We need to make sure that we're not burning through it too fast. And then when that's all sorted out, we get rid of all this. And then we've got ourselves a full-on chocolate production line straight from the plant, straight to bar. Now, I said I wasn't going to work on the cringe corridor, the cringe maze, the milky maze, whatever you want to call it, down in the bottom right. But we do have a prosthesis trader. And one of those rooms does need a mechanical killing machine who woo. Now, we can't craft any bionics at all, but we can buy them. So I think the exoskeleton suit, assuming I can put it on a new womb, makes a lot of sense. I'll buy a couple of bionic eyes too. Wait, medical rip replacements. What do those do? Uh, they give... 10% <laughs> blood filtration. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. We'll take, we'll take the lot. Finally, people to milk. Who the hell is Toby? <laughs> we need to take as many as we can alive. So I think we definitely need to seal off the fans for a start. I might not even put Spoonie in there. I feel like Spoonie's just gonna, just gonna annihilate them. All right, quickly seal those in. There you go. Now we won't kill them dead. They're going through the maze. What are they shooting? <gasps> Oh, we bulb one, you fool. And they're going to friendly fire themselves to death. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Maybe now is the time we take those dart rifles back to the Impul and for settlement. Because this is silly. Why are they punching stuff and not going through the maze this time? Yes, that's it. Go, 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 go. Go in, go in. Yes, follow Komodo. No! Did they not get through? Am I going insane? There's a barrier there, barrier there, barrier there. Oh, brilliant. Well done. Absolutely astounding. No way, they can get through. I was about to send sprinkles to go and put a bloody hole in the maze then. Come on, idiots. In your own time. Whenever you're quite ready. It's not even that good of a maze this time because the majority of the maze is already blocked off. Are you... You actually joking right now? Are you... Are you going the wrong way? Raven. Oh, Raven. You genie... Ah, oh, my jumper lumper. The, I'm, I, I've got to say, the maze is too complicated. They they can't... They can't figure it out. It, it's just too long. It's too difficult a maze. Oh! You made it all the way through there? For God's sake, your friends haven't even made it out of the maze yet. Mr. Cringe has given up. Oh, you are getting right on my nerves. Well, that's one person. Patch him up, patch him up, patch him up. Who's a good doctor here? None of these people. In fact, Cringe is the only doctor we've got. I'm going to pick Dr. Hunk because his name is Dr. Hunk. 13.9 uh, medical. You'd assume he might do something good here. Now, I've got someone on the console. I'm going to drop this wall down, see if they'll actually find a way to get through here. Sorry? The animal you rescued isn't joining the colony. Who did we rescue? What the hell happened to Laffy? Oh, they stopped being drafted because there was so much time without any action and he decided to go fight the fire. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, Laffy, and I hate you. It's an apple pie to go and pick him up. Hopefully they can find their way through the bloody... Giving up and leaving. This is unfathomable. How can the AI be this stupid? In all that time, I only got a single guy to milk. It was ridiculous. Uh, 10 Laffy, 10 Laffy, what's your medical? 3.73 on the dirtiest floor possible. <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. I hate running a theme park. We're never doing it again. This sucks. They've absolutely trashed the cringe corridor. It's going to take us ages to rebuild that. They've burned down the entire entrance to the bloody maze. And we've got the animal apocalypse going on over here. Nobody's ever going to come and visit. Oh, we almost lost Laffy too. God, I built those hospital beds though, huh? <laughs> oh, fantastic news. We have Coco straight from the plant, straight to the machine. Everything is perfectly set up. Nothing could possibly ever go wrong, except for friggin' meteors dropping through the ceiling. What have I done, God? Just tell me. <laughs> Why is nothing working? Anyway, I think that should work when, you know, we're slightly less meteor encumbered. Uh, these are just basic splitters, so they're just half the stack that's coming in, right? Uh, so you got half the stack going that way. The only problem is these machines are going to get backed up far more than this machine, since it's right at the end. We could do another underground roller with a direct splitter, um, or another splitter there, splitting half the stack down to here into another splitter feeding these two. That way they're getting it equally, because right now, like I said, this one's getting half it, and then that's getting blah, blah, blah. It shouldn't matter too much, and you can see, actually... Uh, kind of the distribution there already. Doesn't matter how inefficient it is. It's quicker than carrying it over one by one with old drill hands Laffy over there. Now all we need is the milk and we can make ourselves precious, precious white chocolate. Because white chocolate, as I said, is the highest value one per inputs. It's the highest profit one, I should say. Obviously a bit more of a pain in the ass getting the milk in the first place. But that's that's what we're going to deal with today. So let's start work on that one. We need 150 chocolate, 150 milk per Whatever the batch size is for this, I don't remember. Now we need a dedicated milking pen for our little, our little 
cows. <laughs> Little Moo Moo Raven, it's time to go to your milking pen. So let's completely uninstall and remove this battery bank. We'll just stick it, I don't know, over here somewhere. We've got five nuclear candy generators. We're going to need much more than that, realistically. I don't know how much they output. So what was it, 7,500 watts? Uh, hang on, we can see on... Because why would, of course, you need to know that on the actual building that you're trying to build at the time. No, no, no. Yeah, it's 7,500 watts. We're building five of them. I don't think we need to pull this entire room up unless we're going to do some massive expansion. And if we do that, we'll cross the hurdle when we get there. So put the batteries over at this point and we'll turn this into a milking room adjacent to the prison. That way we can prepare them for their milking experience. We, we could turn them into slaves, which could make a lot of sense. We could keep them as prisoners. The problem is in both of those situations, if they try and rebel or prison escape, and we take, say, their legs off of them or break their spine or whatever horrible thing it is we're going to do. When they stand up to try and escape, the bed will unassign to them because they'll be hostile, right? At that point, if they have any medical issues or anything like that, you have to manually go and recapture them. Otherwise, it won't work. It's a lot of extra stuff to consider, but at least if we enslave them, it'll ping us and say, hey, this guy needs help. But of course, they'll be constantly very depressed. Ah, it's for profit. No, I'm sorry, Raven. The profits come first, my friends. Oh, and the best part is a mountain lover. It just is happy at being near a large mountain. Or, in this case, entombed. Under a large mountain. For eternity. And we just need some sort of automated feeding machine. Like a nutrient paste dispenser that dispenses it right into their mouth. Like some sort of feeding IV. Would you believe it if I told you there was exactly that mod, it turns out? <laughs> what is that? Mint ch Choco Mint Choco. <laughs> choco Mincho Mint Choco Chocky Joris. What the hell is even that thing? From the Joris experience? A Joris made of Minchoco. He moves with a muddy sound. He, with a cold and damp atmosphere, exudes sweat and looks at your colonists with sticky eyes, which is either deeply disgusting or arousing. Maybe both. Who am I to judge? No, but seriously, it's the former. Oh. The Chocky Mincho Minty Fresh Breath Joris. <laughs> it would generate chocolate every day. Oh, this is incredible. Mr. Cringe. I mean, Mr. Cringe is our best animal handler. We, we, we can't tame it. Um. Ah, shit. What do I do now? There really is an abundance of Joris out the front, isn't there? I guess everything else is being killed by the bigger, stronger Jorises. But sincerely, I had no idea that existed. <laughs> That's genuinely incredible. <laughs> so I... Redid the bedrooms because it turns out all of our group of loopers are deeply in love. I'm not entirely sure when this happened. Uh, but that's a thing now. Husband. Uh, husband? They got married? <laughs> so Dr. Hunk and Laffy are married. Uh, Spoonie and Sigma are married. So I thought, hey, I'll give them, you know, I'll give them private bedrooms. That way it'll be a, a, a pretty massive mood boost, you know, if they're actually able to to sleep with their lover. Uh, only problem is they don't build enough beds to make up for it. Because of course there's one odd looper out. We've got five loopers in total. There's little sprinkles. Where, where is little sprinkles? Little sprinkles has decided he's going to sleep in the freaking freezer. Oh, minus 204. That's mighty toasty, isn't it? Sprinkles, I'm going to have to politely ask you to leave. Oh, he's actually addicted to it. <laughs> what is wrong with this game? Both Sprinkles and Apple Pie don't have a bedroom. Where's Apple Pie sleeping? Just on the floor. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. Okay, fine. Maybe I can give you a little room up here by Cringe's Mansion. We're not using that wind turbine anymore. So I'll use that as a little kind of bedroom expansion. I think we must have enough mint choco left over to build a couple of bedrooms, right? I was kind of hoping that Apple Pie and Mr. Cringe would, would also be in a relationship. They, that's not going to happen. I think it's the fact that she's a cannibal. I get the feeling her backstory prevents her getting into a relationship. She doesn't want to eat ass. She wants to, like, eat ass, you know? I don't know if I'd also trust, like, a cannibal wife. That does seem like a, <laughs> seem like a pretty poor idea. <laughs> All we need now is a little bit of research to get those nutrition IVs so that we can just keep them hooked up there and not have to worry about it. The bad news is that the prisoner disappeared. Oh, he's just actually gone. Couldn't have starved to death because there's a friggin' nutrient paste dispenser. I don't know what's going on with this prison. The barrier is raised. It's got triple auto doors to get into the bloody place. They're just disappearing. I almost feel like Mr. Cringe is setting them to be released. Ma Where is your hat? Please put your hat back on. Oh, God, it is Squid Game. <laughs> yeah, make Top Hat. Yeah, urgently make Top Hat. Sigma, please. New material. Oh, God, we're out of cloth. Oh, Sigma is the one making the Mr. Cringe bars. Oh, isn't he just? My God. <laughs> what a guy. 
Okay. And the machines are being automatically filled. You can see the ones that are forbidden are, uh, are from the more recent batch. Fantastic. Still got too much of a chocolate overflow here. Two of the machines I've diverted to go into, into this area, which allows us to obviously craft this faster. And it's like shockingly efficient. Oh, and we've got the candy logs. Oh, shit. There you go. Two or uh, three candy generators fully fueled. Wow. Wow, everything's working. Everything except the one bloody thing I want to work. So I think we need vitals monitors before we can get the... Okay. <laughs> right on cue. Unlocks nutrition IV. That's exactly what we need then, huh? So there you go. You've got nutrition IV, painkiller IV, and antibiotic IV. All of those would be super useful to get hooked up to anybody we decide to turn into a milk machine. What I'd also like, actually, you know what make also more sense? Getting another roller, sending that up to here. We'll have to do a little drop-off point, sending it over to here, and then immediately putting it into the machine, kind of saving on that a little bit too. What we need is prisoners consistently, safely. We need, like, tranquilizer turrets. But we need it in a way that this shit isn't going to burn down constantly because we're wasting so many resources on that. We could just... We could equip all of our people with dart rifles. We could build a few dart rifle turrets in here. All we would have to do is open this door, open this door and this door. They bypass the entire kill box. Just come into this room and then obviously eventually through to here. We're ready for them at that point. For taking prisoners, that works really well. Sure, we don't get the entertainment factor of it. But I say that. You've got lumpers shooting dart rifles at people for the purposes of milking them. I'd argue that that kind of ticks that box as far as I'm concerned. Let's build a few of these turret bases then. Mr. Cringe, you madman! We've already got it. Now, the question is, does this work how I assume it would work? Uh, provides nutrition to an immobile patient. That sounds, that sounds like the one. If you have to refuel it though, at which point that's not really going to help out much compared to manually going there feeding them. Might be quicker. Might last a lot longer too. Now all we need is some people to stock our milking room with. I'm going to sell these to, uh, I guess, medical for prisoners, right? We should probably also put a bin in there too, just to avoid any infections, that type of thing. Now I have a question. What's been the real powerhouse be behind the entire factory at this point? You probably think maybe Mr. Cringe, you know, the businessman, the founder, the, the, the visionary. But no, 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 my friends. We all know it's Sprinkles. Oh, Sprinkles, what the hell are you doing? Oh, it's okay. It's, it's powered off right now. We're good. Maybe it would be more reasonable to say it's the Lumpers as a whole. Thanks to Sprinkles and Laffy and Dr. Hunk and Sigma too, they've all played a pretty significant part. We've kept everything running pretty smoothly. And then there's Spoonie, who I sealed in a wall casket. <laughs> I'm sure he helps doing whatever it is he does. The point I'm alluding to is I don't want just to have any old milk coming in from these prisoners. I feel like this has been built on the backs of loopers. They unionized and now they helped build it with uh, willingly. And now we'll take away a little bit of that. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a bunch of bunch of warrants on whatever looper we can find out there. Why do the elves have so many people in their faction? My God. Uh, what am I going to what am I going to charge you with? Uh, cyber crimes. Yeah, capture payment. Uh, I'll pay 2,500 a looper, if that's okay. 2.5 days. We can wait. Ah, there you go. Right on time for my army of cyber criminal loopers to be dragged over here. <laughs> my only other concern is you might not be able to actually milk a looper in the first place. And the reason I think that is because all of our loopers have been milkable for quite some time. Maybe just no one's brave enough to do it. I mean, are you going to tell Laffy Drill Hands that it's time to hand over his delicious milkies? Also, that is a... <laughs> That's a hell of a lunch, isn't it? My God. I, oh, maybe it'd be better just to test it on a single looper and then see where we go from there. Maybe we should test it on a person, like an actual human being. Maybe that would be a better idea. I, I guess we'll get the dart traps finished and then we'll call up anybody and tell them they suck and then hopefully we'll get some people we can test it on uh, iv drip nutritional here we go and then what we just hook it up to oh, maybe we could get one to cover both beds in fact it has a cross section to it i think we could hook four beds up to one iv <laughs> that'll be messed up i think that's fine i think that lets our our doctors our milkers whoever it happens to be be able to be able to walk between the beds there and get full access to them so you do need to refuel the drips but I mean, it's a lot easier just to whack a few berries in an IV and leave that for a few days. Or even grab some corn from the nutrient-based dispenser, right? Then you haven't got to worry about cooking the meals, getting a nurse or a doctor to do it. That's, uh, that's pretty simple. I'm all right with that. I would much prefer to have a giant slot pipe above their mouth, but... <sighs> it's just the dreams of a gamer, isn't it, really? What am I talking about? 
Oh, right, the warrants. How are we looking on that front? 5.5 days, 6.5 days, 4.2 days, zero days completion on this one. I don't know if that means they'll never do it or they're doing it right now. <laughs> we need to test people milkies before we test out anything else. I'm going to call it the moderators. Okay, I'll all sprinkles come crack open. No, no, no. Don't, 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 send, the, send the polar bear. Send the armored polar bear. Insult Dan Sydney's son, the con artist. Be ready in seven hours. That should give us enough time to pop open a few doors. I... I hope. There you go. So now they can run straight down here, bypass the entire corridor, and head up to uh, the room that is now filled with dark guns. Why does this count as an irradiation chamber? I'm sorry? Oh, because it's open walls all the way through to here. Well, that's good. Oh, the entire kill tunnel counts as that. Okay, fair enough. So I think the way we're going to do it is we'll bait them up to this point. We might even need to move forward so that we can bait them a little bit lower down. But we'll bait them up to this point. Those are sealed off. They'll come up through here. Hopefully, the dark guns will absolutely pepper them. And then any people that get through will fight up here. Here they are. Here they are. Here they are. Okay, nice. Uh, moderators, I need my milkies. Okay, that's a good start. And then you run right through the blast door. Hey! No! No! How can the AI be this unforgivably stupid? <laughs> They're actually running the fucking maze! Oh, for God's sake. All right, whatever. Um, right, you guys move back then now that we have at least debated them remotely into the right place. Why? What? I... I need a minute. I need a minute. I'm... I just don't know what, what is wrong with these people. I mean, what... It, why are you doing this? What is wrong with that incendiary launcher too? What the hell is that about? Oh! <laughs> Beaver? Beaver has gotten so lost he ended right back up the entrance. Terrible directional skill. Man, I built these turret base out of Peppermint Bark too, so they take more damage during a... During an actual raid. Unbelievable. I might go and bonk him with, uh... With Spoonie. Hold on. I've got an idea. Uh, you guys, I'm gonna ask you politely to piss off and actually go the way I want you to go. Now what are they shooting at? Now, where are they going? I... I... What do you mean they're stealing what they... Oh, you can't take that! Oh, for fuck's sake! Why is this not working? My friggin' blood pressure! Oh, kill them! Kill the lot! Kill them all! <sighs> unbelievable. Actually unbelievable. Furious bear partners. Yeah, I am the furious bear partner. Call it the civilized bureaucracy. Hello, civilized bureaucracy. You're stinky and I hate you. Oh, it's Dale. Well, I can't say about Dale. D Dale, I need people to milk. Okay. Oh! No! Well, that's not how this is supposed to work at all. <laughs> Why are we here just to suffer? Sprinkles, those playing cards better be sharp, my man. Because, my God, we're going to need it right now. If we could take any survivors, that would be fantastic. Oh, God. Oh, God. Get in there. Get in with your grinder, little sprinkles. Oh, he's down already. How is this happening? How are you down? Oh, we've got turrets. My God. Okay, okay. Uh, hunk, patch up sprinkles. Sprinkles, how are you looking, big man? 19 hours. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Uh, you capture you. You capture you. It didn't go perfectly, but somehow it still went better than all of this freaking planning. Tend, tend. How are we looking? Eight hours. Four hours. Oh, he's actually done it. He's actually done it. He's actually done it. Finally, he's captured somebody in RimWorld. 5,000 hours, by the way. <laughs> what do you mean the power's out? What? Three nuclear reactors is enough to run this place. Okay, all in all, I don't think that went too badly. What do you mean fire? What? What? How has this happened? Oh my god, no. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I, I quit. I quit this game. How has this happened? The the boom rat died of a heat stroke and now it's exploded. I can't believe you've done this. You're telling me the oven is so hot it cancels out all of the cold. That's ridiculous. This is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> this is an absolute nightmare. I... Sprinkles, walk away. Sprinkles, let it fucking burn down. How has this caught fire? 660 degrees? Oh! Everyone's gonna die! What the hell? Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Please. 
Apple pie, fuck off. Like, get out of there. I just do not understand. I cannot fathom how this temperature has gotten this much out of control. That the entire mountain is a thousand degrees C. Okay, we're taking the door off. We're taking the door off. And now it's a nice five degrees C. <laughs> oh, prisoners are going to die. All those prisoners went to this much effort for. I'm, I'm just like in awe. I'm just in awe. How does it go from one second it being this room being cold enough to give people hypothermia to... Well, but that counts as outdoors. Well, how did it catch fire in the first place? Because this should count as outdoors because I didn't roof over an area specifically here to vent the heat out. That's how it worked. That's why I've got these submergible walls and they're submerged, right? Yeah. I don't understand. I'm not going to pretend to understand. I'm not going to pretend to understand. I, it's irrelevant. I... I could cry a sad tear. It's days, days of, days of work. And it's just gone up in a friggin' inferno. It's just, it's just, it's just gone. And I don't understand why. There is no reason why that should have caught fire. Just to, just to prove a point here. Oh, I can't even shut the fucking wall because the utility console is bloody burned down. Just to prove a point here. I just don't understand why this game doesn't have any way to fight fires. Why is there not just this thing that you can build that when something is on fire, it'll put the fire out? There's still nothing. How many years has this game been, uh, been out and there's no way to put like a sprinkler or some sort of foam releaser to, to deal with all these bloody fires? <laughs> <laughs> this has been just like uh, the biggest failure of all time, hasn't it? The maze is so long that the AI can't path through it. The first room is decorative and they smash the grass because they hate it for reasons unbeknownst to me. This room is so hot that apparently even when exposed to the outdoors, it can burn the entire mountain down. The radiation chamber doesn't work at all. The blueberry launchers don't work. This fucking thing gave them a slight chill despite the fact that it was a few degrees above absolute zero. F fundamentally flawed and creatively bankrupt. I think I'm closing the cringe mountain. I think I'm going to have to shut it down. It's a, it's a health and safety hazard for us. And it's not even meant to. It, it's almost killed more of our people than it has other people at this point. All that for a drop of milk. All that for a drop of milk. I know. I mean, what have we got to show for it? Nothing. It's going to cost thousands. Maybe we could claim on the insurance money. Are you allowed to get a industrial size oven for the purposes of cooking Raider and some thinly veiled metaphor in short? I don't think so. Sigma's probably going to die. <sighs> what we gained in factory efficiency, we have lost in in, in fun murder games. <laughs> this may be churning out more chocolate than we can realistically store. We may have thousands in the brand new cringe bars. Thousands being actually the case at this point. My god, that's a lot. And overall, I assume the colony wealth has, has absolutely skyrocketed. Uh, Yep. Yeah, we're up there. 1.2 million. Just... I'm so disappointed. I feel like the game just doesn't want me to have have this victory. I, I just just seems impossible. We need smaller rooms. I need smaller rooms to make it work because the maze just does does not function. This room, though, is nice and decorated and on brand, just doesn't do anything. The AI just decides to smash the grass and move on. It's back to it's back to square one. It's back to the drawing board. It's back to the drawing board, Mr. Cringe. I I failed you all. I failed myself, and more importantly, I failed. I failed RimWorld. There has to be a better way. And maybe, maybe I'll try and find that better way tomorrow. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to Grumpy Furball, Dandelion, Chax, The Valet, That Crashed Your Car, Dranmere, Time Waster, Ash Dresden, Athom, Hoopy, Tom Page, Cuddles, Sleepy257, Almadel Solomonis, and Tyria Him for their support at the Executive Producer Tears on Patreon. Thank you for your help over there. Thank you thank you for softening this. Oh, I don't know what the hell that blaring alarm was. Oh, someone's got an infection. We'll deal with that tomorrow. Thank you to Yanosh, Jimmy Bailey, Fatigable, I See the Great, Layforce, Yolgi, Deuterian, Gamma Freya, Randomman9989, Shatner's Bassoon, Plateon, Saxon Cat, Axel PJ, Prince Medixus, and Fred as well. Not it. I don't, I don't, I don't want to be a business owner anymore. Shut it down. Mr. Cringe, we're getting you a job in Walmart, my man. This is too much responsibility.